Okay, for you guys that are watching the video updates, uh, I figured I'd do a quick video to uh, show where I'm at. I've actually posted a lot of pictures of the build on my uh, blog site, chrishoodblog.com. Uh, you can see a lot of the details there and photographs as I've been building. So far, I've got, uh, of course, I had all my windows done. You can see they're, they're finished, and I've got pieces of tape over them, so they'll be square when I peel the tape off. I've got the saucer section put together, and I've got my first coat of paint. Uh, when I went in and masked off these areas and painted those, I got a little overspray. But since that's just the base gray, uh, I can go in and take that back off. For my uh, darker areas, I'm using uh, XF24 dark gray. And for my base gray, I'm using XF20 medium gray. I've noticed it's got a little bit of a beige tint to it, but it's, it's turning out okay, so I think I'm going to live with that. Um, if you didn't see before, in the back, I've, uh, I decided instead of leaving it as a shuttle bay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, light this up here. When I put the grill in, the LEDs are painted blue, so that'll glow blue. And the uh, I've got the nacelles. I mean, not the nacelles, but the uh, impulse engines, they glow red. And if you look on my website, you'll see pictures of all this lit up. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show you where I was at on that. All the wires are run out. I, uh, I'm getting ready to start painting the uh, nacelles. So, and I have to paint these before I put them together. So I'm getting to work on that. And I'll take this one apart here, and you can see how I put the red in there. Let me zoom that in. You can see, um, if I can get it to focus, let me get the focal point on that, make sure that's in focus good. Um, you can see the uh, LED strip. I just cut out a three piece and curled it up in there, and I hot glued it in. And then on the back, this one I don't have, yeah, here we go. If you look there, I've got in the back, make sure it's focused. I've got the two strobes that light on top and bottom, they will be flashing. And then in the front, I'll get that in focus. Um, that one's going to be on all the time. Uh, when I looked at the movie footage, that light was on constantly. And these guys in the back, the guys in the back strobe. So, anyway, put the whole thing together. Zoom it out. Oh, and that piece there, um, it has a, a little uh, knot on top of it that indicates where the light goes. What I did is I dremeled the front of it off and then I hot glued the light in there and I've got my resistors installed inside instead of uh, down in the base anyway she just goes back together and the reason I'm painting these before I put them together is because I don't want to have to try to mask off the clear section so I'm going to get everything painted and then glue my clear pieces in and uh, then I'll glue my my strip my blue strip light up here and put the clear piece over it and then that way I don't have to worry about overspray or having to mask off those funny shapes and stuff so anyway that's where I'm on, on that that's where I am at on that and um, I had a little leftover paint so I went ahead and threw a little on this half of the uh, I think they call it the engineering hole um, I have not put lights inside yet, and I'm going to have to cut the cut part of this section out so I can run the wires down through it. So that's where I'm at on the paint and the construction. The next thing I wanted to show you was this little guy right here. This thing is amazing. Um, I had built a couple of different circuits to control the flashes on my LEDs to get my strobing effect and. Uh, different lighting effects on the uh, Voyager when I built it and it built a couple for this and they, they worked fine but uh, I, I stumbled across a forum um, I post on Hobby Talk a lot 
and I saw where somebody was talking about the Arduino board and I got my curiosity up and looked into it and found this guy and you can buy these at Radio Shack you can order them online um, I paid $42 for this one at Radio Shack but this is more of a prototyping board um, the really neat thing about this is you have 13 outputs and some of them can be input, some of them can be output, they can be digital, they can be analog. But the really cool thing about this is you can program your lighting behavior with your computer. You hook it up to this and uh, you write what they call a sketch and it's pretty easy to do. And uh, you tell the lights how long you want them on, how long you want them off, what pin you want on, what pin you want off, uh, to control separate lights for separate circuits. And uh, what I did is I put my navigation lights on one circuit and my collision lights on a second circuit. And then everything that's constant will be running directly off of 12 volts because I have uh, everything protected with resistors. Um, these boards, I don't know if all of them can, but a lot of them can run, I think, anywhere from 7 to, uh, it's over 12 volts. I don't know. Anyway, I know I can run the ones that I'm going to use off of 12 volts. So. I like to run all my systems off 12 volts and just use a uh, transformer you plug in the wall. But anyway, enough talking about this. Let me show you the uh, results I've gotten with this. I've got a breadboard laying here. Okay, that's, uh, that's a sketch that I wrote. Actually, I didn't write this sketch. I found it and then uh, tweaked the programming. I had a good friend of mine. He's a good programmer. and It got a little... Uh, this one was a little complicated due to the... Uh, uh, scheduling and all that stuff on there so that they could blink at completely uh, independent rates but I will post this sketch it's actually posted in Hobby Talk but I'll post this sketch on my website um, at the bottom of this page if you're finding me just via YouTube if you go to chrishoodblog.com you will see all my blog entries about this and other builds that I've done and I will have the uh, programming information for this particular one. And it's really easy because with the sketch for this one, you just tell it uh, how long you want each set of lights on and how long you want them off. And they run completely independent of each other. So it's a really neat sketch. And uh, this is a really nice device. And I think it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of possibilities with your models. If you're building uh, models that have the rotating lights on the engine and stuff like that, this board can actually control stepper motors. Um, it can do pretty much anything you want. It even has um, the ability to make lights go from nothing and then gradually increase their uh, luminance until they're full power. Uh, I think I've seen that on some other stuff. And it re looks really neat when it's starting up where they come from nothing and then they get really bright. So anyway, sky's the limit on that thing. Uh, if you put your imagination to it, you can do anything with that board. So this particular setup is how I'm going to have mine running. I'm going to have six strobes, and I'm going to have uh, two navigation lights in the saucer, and then I'll have uh, constantly illuminated LEDs all around the craft. So and then of course uh, all of the cabin lights inside illuminating the windows. So. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys see where I was at and uh, get a video out there so you can keep up with me if you're just watching the videos. And like I said, if you want to see more pictures and read more about it, on my blog at chrishoodblog.com, you can go check them out there. Um, my blog does not have any advertisements. I don't do any of that. I, I just do it for myself and my friends. So this is not a money-making thing. I don't know how long I'll be building models, but while I'm doing it, I'm going to have fun and uh, share with others. So if you have any questions, um, if you're wanting to build one or do anything you've seen in my videos, I'm by no means an expert. But if you have a question about anything I've done, you can uh, post a comment on my page. You can uh, ask me a question in Hobby Talk or even ask me on YouTube if you're watching this video. Uh, I don't always get the updates from YouTube in a timely manner, but anyway, you can reach me any of those ways, and I'd be glad to tell you what I know and what I've done, and if it helps you, great. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.